Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with another zoo tour showcase, and I'm just super excited for this zoo. If you remember, we previously did a zoo tour of the Merida Animal Sanctuary, which was a collaboration zoo, and one of those people, Dan Creates, now also sent me his own zoo. Uh, this one is called Haya Zoo. This is a complete Asia zoo, so I am actually really excited to also check this one out. Thank you so much, Dan, for sending me your zoo. And please do not forget, Dan Creates can be found on YouTube. I will link his channel in the description down below. Please do make sure to subscribe to his channel if you love his work. Please, please do so. So without further talking, let's just go and jump in to this amazing zoo. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's an Asian zoo, and as you can tell with like the skyscrapers, um, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. This was the idea a little bit that I had for my city zoo as well, but I'm not really sure if my city zoo can handle any more pieces once it is finished. <laughs> oh, look, we have uh, measurements right over here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, nice. We have a wheelchair area right over here, so the guests can grab that wheelchair. And uh, we have some planters here in the middle, which I really like. Education center, is that open or is that closed? Oh, there's nothing in there. Unfortunately, it would have been really great, though. So let's see. I'm not really sure if there is any path that we should follow, but we're just gonna go and check everything out as much as we can. Uh, clouded leopards we have here. Oh my, look at this beautiful habitat. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I've, I've actually never seen anyone using so many mist particles in a habitat, but that actually works really well. Really gives an extra dimension to your habitat, in my opinion. That's super inspiring. I really like that. Very nice. I really love the foliage and the rock work that you did here. Really beautiful. Well done. Let's see. Oh, I really love the shape of this building, by the way. That looks great. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we also have an area where the guests can look inside here. So once it rains or anything, this is definitely a very nice area uh, for the guests to take some shelter. This is not the way how you should use it, ma'am. Oh, man, I hate it when that happens. Also, I do really like these little stones right over here to like divide the planter. I really like that. So we have uh, some statues around here. Same over here, by the way, with these rocks. I really do like that. This is definitely something I'm going to steal. Really love it. So we have some benches right over here. Don't think people can use these, but maybe you did hide a real one under it. That could be. Can't really tell if you did, but that could be. <laughs> but it's really nice. I would love to relax here for just a little bit. Ooh, okay. So these, okay. You also build some something like this, I think, in that Merida Animal Sanctuary. I really love that. Or it's inspired of it. That could also be. But this just looks amazing. I think these are meant to be bird aviaries, if I remember correctly. In that collab zoo, it was a capuchin monkey or a lemur habitat. And you had like these walking paths going from one side to the other side. But oh man, I love these. This looks absolutely amazing. Really nice. So I, I did hear them already. Oh, okay, it's a babirusa. I wasn't sure if it was the warthog. Or the Babarusa. They kind of make the same sounds. <laughs> oh my god, I have never seen them using this before. I love this. They're so happy, but no. No, the Warthogs are definitely winning in cuteness. I mean, look at those faces here. <laughs> oh man, I love this game though. This is great. They don't have anything to... Um, to, to clean their, themselves. I don't see any sprinklers or water. <laughs> so they will always stay dirty. Those poor pigs. Oh gosh. Is that one going to roll into the mud? Oh, please tell me you will. I love that when you do that. Come on, do it for me. I love that. Come on. Oh, you're just gonna lay down. 
That was not what I wanted. Oh, you got... Oh, okay. They're both doing the exact same thing. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. Oh, we have a male and a female, though. Oh, I love this. This game is so amazing. I really love it. Okay, let's see. Did we miss anything here? It does not look like it. So let's see, what do we have here? We have a viewing gallery from above into... Wait, what are these? Are these tigers? Or what? Oh, dingoes! Oh, nice! Oh, that's so cute! So we have this really lovely viewing gallery awning right over here. I love this with the green and stuff and with the, with the poles. That looks really good. I really like this. So if we go up right over here, we have a higher viewing into the habitat. What is very interesting is that these dingoes are apparently able to walk. This is elephant grass, isn't it? Oh, eel grass. Oh, okay. Because I was like, elephant grass, then the animals would be walking over it. But this is the, the, the aquatic grass, basically, right? That is perfect! I never thought of using that for, for your habitats. That's just brilliant. That looks so good. Oh man, this is so inspiring. Guys, this is gonna be such a promising zoo for so much inspiration. I, I mentioned it in one of my previous episodes. Like, these zoo tours give me so much inspiration for my own zoos like with educational centers and stuff and doing things in more details oh man dan this is definitely another example of such a great zoo and so much inspiration going on here this is just really amazing i really love this thank you thank you for sharing this with us and hopefully I'm obviously not the only one that is learning from this, but I did when I said it in uh, one of my videos, you guys were also like, yes, <laughs> they helped me so much for my own zoo. So that is exactly what we want. Just look at this. Did you created this yourself? Yes, you did. Oh man, you did that. That is just lovely. I really like that. Also just how you use these uh, aquatic rocks to decorate this, this little open area. I oh, love this, this planter box as well. This is just looking really great. Um, do we go that side? I think so. This was the baby rooster. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to this side. Also, just, just look at this. Just the little details of like this, a feeling of like broken asphalt or something. Man, I love this. This is so cool. This is really brilliant. All right. Let's go and see. What do we have here? Oh, Malaysian tapirs with a water area so they can have a nice little swim pay attention to these things guys that is just amazing again there's so much inspiration in here also this little thingy <laughs> love this that's just great oh man i wish i wish we had pieces that we could make sure that the gas would not go through everything give us curbs and barriers please oh man i would love that but such a lovely habitat again. Very beautiful. Oh, this is looking amazing. Uh, what else do we have? We have sun bears right over here. So I think that is... There are two ways we can follow. This is going to be a hard one to decide. <laughs> oh my, look at this. Oh, love this. Should have been just a little tad higher because the guests are <laughs> bumping their heads onto it. But how creative. Wait, is this a... What? Are you kidding me? What pieces? Classic roof trim end? What? You made a wall from that? Dan, you Dan, this is just insane. Oh, man. This is so cool. Also, this, the shape of this little building. Oh, there's so much to explore just in this small little building, which is basically just a sign. Oh, it's just amazing. Oh my gosh, look at this. A little fountain. Well, not really. A little pond, I should say. Oh, I love this. I love how you use these planter. I never really use these, but this works super well for your fencing and stuff. What do we have? Okay, these are the sun bears then. Oh, the grass. 
I've never seen anyone using the grass like this. It works fantastic. It's super bad for your frame rate though. Only do this if you have a good computer. But man, this is looking so natural. Even though you did not do that much with the habitat. Like this is just a very plain habitat with some trees in here. And it looks so freaking natural and so realistic. I, I'm just a little bit speechless about the simplicity of this habitat and how good this works. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I love this. These little edges. So much inspiration going on in here. I love it so much. Uh, so we can go up right over here and look into the habitat as well. Very nice viewing. Uh, I'm gonna go to this side. It's gonna be a, a thing at the end of this video probably that we have to uh, check what we missed out. What would this be though? Oh, this is also part of the sun bears. Oh, so they walk underneath and then you have the staff gate right over here and some indoor section. Wow, that's so cool. Ah, oh, you use it again here. I love it. Yes, this is just perfect. Just look at the green on the walls here. Oh, a lot of billboards. This area just comes to life because of that. A beautiful fountain. Ice cream card. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so cool. That is just brilliant, Dan. I love it. It's so spacious here. I really do like that. A nice little sign. Do we have... Okay, there's this, uh, this building really beautiful i'm guessing that these things are are turned on their side here also works super well again your own wall here it's insane i love it this is just absolutely amazing oh wait is this a dead end no it's not it's not okay then i'm just going to follow this outdoor path right over here or outside path i should say or is this going to the backstage Maybe, because there's no guest walking here, so they have no reason for it. Might be. What do we have here? Zero five. Okay, this is, this is probably some backstage area. Oh, this is really cool, though. Okay, I, th I think this is, uh, this is definitely not the path that we should follow. <laughs> so I think we're going to follow this one then instead. Uh, bamboo Forest. All right, let's see what we what we will find here. A bamboo forest, a very beautiful area right over here. Ah, oh, binturongs. Oh, I love it. Let's see if you have the enrichment items they want. The grass. Just, I'm gonna keep saying it. The grass is just perfect. The grass just works so well. Will I ever see the animations of a binturong hanging on its tail? They're all walking on the floor. There is not a single one climbing. There's just none. I still won't see it. It's insane. Can't stand it. But I love the habitat. I really love it. It's looking great. So when we follow here. The, oh, then we get back here. Oh, that's perfect. So we actually just went in a circle. So now if we follow this track, we see the other side of the Binturong. Oh, man. I love this. It's so cute. But yeah, some people did say in the comments that the Binturong does do the hanging trick also on trees. So... But just not now. I'm gonna just check the habitat again once we're done with the whole tour. Uh, wait. Oh, this is the... Okay. Then we go to that side. Lakeside Lodges. And the sun bears. Okay, I think we just need to follow this area instead then. Oh no, but these are the lodges. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So that is falling to... Oh, that's for the lake as well. Oh, that's really cool. You have a really nice viewing onto this beautiful lake. Right in the middle of the city. That's really cool actually. That looks really amazing. That looks really cool. So do we have more animals then? I actually wonder. Do we have... 
more animals. These are the cloud leopards. Oh no! Oh no! It's only a few animals! Oh, I've been fooled! I really thought it was, <laughs> it was bigger than that. But nonetheless, it was a really, really great zoo though. I really did enjoy it. It's super inspiring. Did I really not miss anything? Just, just to be sure. Just to be sure. I really don't think so. I think we have the babirusa, we have the sun bears, we have the cloud lepers. So actually, uh, now only just now I realize Complete Asia Zoo is with the uh, East Asia Animal Pack. That's it. That's it. So all these animals are from the Southeast Asia Animal Pack, which is just fantastic. Really do like it. Okay, now I'm going to go back to that binturong. And I want to see it. I just want to see the binturongs hanging on their... T oh, wait, we did not see this. Oh, this is the babirusa. So we have... Oh, man, this is so cute. A playground. This looks so realistic. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, the amount of details in here. I love it. My gosh, this looks so realistic. Look at this side. This is insane. Oh man, I love it. This really brings back so many memories. It looks so real. Well done. Really well done. That's amazing. So what do we have if we follow this side then? Then we have the Malaysian tapirs right over here. Some bears on that side. No, okay, so no, we went here. We also walked here with the cute little taper. So now I want to go to the bin to rungs back. I want to see that tail animation that I have been missing forever since I've never saw it. Just never saw it. Now that they have got their dinner or their meal, there should be one climbing, right? They're all on the floor still. That's just insane. Let me just wait for a bit here. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and none of them are going to climb. That's not due to Dan. There are some trees that are climbable. I swear that my game, like it's so personal sometimes, the bugs you have in Planet Zoo, I... I still, I, they just don't do it. They just don't, don't, well, they do climb sometimes, but they just do not do anything in this, in this particular zoo, they don't do anything. But it's just insane. I've never seen it. I can't stand it. It's so frustrating. But anyways, okay, that's just a side note. Dan Creates, thank you so much for sharing this wonderful zoo, Haya Zoo with us and the amount of inspiration you give us, even though it's it's a, quite a small zoo, even with the small zoo, you sometimes miss something. And I was actually already rendering this video until I realized I have not seen the proboscis monkey. If this is a Southeast Asia Animal Pack zoo, then there should be a proboscis monkey, and there is. If you follow this path right over here with the Malaysian tapirs, you get to this area, you get a lovely fountain, and then you get up right over here for the proboscis monkey. They have some really cool climbing frames right over here and some 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 towers for, from stone. That looks really cool. Look at them. They're using these ropes. I love that. I really am sorry that I almost forgot to see this animal uh, habitat because I, <laughs> I totally missed it. But it's also like a, a dead end point. So yeah, you, you must walk straight from here in order to see the proboscis monkeys. But a really lovely habitat as well, Dan Creates. Really well done. I definitely think it's a fantastic zoo. Thank you so, so much for letting us check your Haya Zoo out. If you want to check out this zoo yourself, please do go and find this one in the description down below. And also don't forget to subscribe to Dan Creates on his YouTube channel. You can find his link also in the description down below. And if you want to send me your finished shoes, definitely go and read the description down below of how you can send me your finished zoos as well. And who knows, you might be seeing your zoo as well on the channel in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of Haya Zoo made by Dan Creates. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.